Father, in Jesus' name, we bless you today. We give you praise, glory, and honor for this opportunity to be in the land of the living. We thank you for one more, one more day waking us up in our right mind and the activities of our limbs. We do give you praise and glory today, for this is the day that the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. We are here, amen, to share the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. For the Bible said in the end time, amen, the love of many shall wax cold. Amen. I'm here to tell you today that today is the day of salvation. The day that you hear my voice, harden not your heart. Jesus is coming back. We play the game as the kids say, ready or not. We play hide and seek, but I tell you, you can't hide from God. Amen. I want you to know that we're living in the last days. Amen. We have already broken the record as far as homicides in the city of Philadelphia this early. This early. Young people with the pistols, put them down and pick up a book. Pick up a book and put down the guns. We're asking you, Lord God, that you would hide us behind the cross. Uh, that you would let no flesh glow in your sight. Uh, we ask that you would move by your spirit and by your power. Ayamasa. Holy Spirit, convict them by your saving power. Speak to their hearts and their minds in the hour, Lord, in the midnight hour, when they're trying to go to sleep. Uh, let the word of the Lord come forth. Uh, let them hear, amen, the word of the Lord. Uh, let them repent of their sin today and call on the name of Jesus. We thank you right now for the victory in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, and amen. Praise be God. For, again, for this is the day that the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. I'm coming from 2 Peter, the third chapter. I'm going to start at the eighth verse. But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is as a thousand years of the Lord. And a thousand years as one day. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise. As some men count slackness. But is long suffering toward us. Not willing that any should perish. But that all should come to repentance. Verse 10 says. But the day of the Lord shall come as a thief in the night. In which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. And the elements shall melt with a fervent heat. And the earth and all the works therein shall be burned up. Seeing then that we sh that all these things shall be dissolved. What manner of person ought we to be in all holy conversation and godliness. Looking for and hastening unto the day. The coming of the day of the God. Wherein the heavens are being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat nevertheless we according to his promise look for a new heaven and a new earth wherein the righteous dwell wherefore behold seeing that we look for such things be diligent that ye may be found in peace without spot and blameless amen i'm gonna talk to you about the coming of the Lord. Amen. We believe, the Bible said in Genesis the 6th chapter, amen, that the end of all flesh had came before the Lord. Amen. He said, it repented him that he made man upon the earth. Because amen, the Bible said his heart was evil continually. The thoughts and the thoughts of his heart were evil continually. I'm going to tell you something, amen. I'm going to show you in the scripture where the Bible lets us know, amen, about the heart. But amen, in the book of Ezekiel, the third chapter, and the fourth four says, listen. And he said unto me, son of man, go get thee to the house of Israel and speak my word unto them. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning for me. That's what we're here to do. We're here to give you warning from the Lord. The Bible said, Amen. When you shall say unto the wicked, Thou shalt surely die, and thou give of him not the word or warning, nor speak to warn him from his wicked ways, 
to save his life, that same wicked man shall die in his sins. Amen. Jesus already paid the penalty for your sins. Scripture says, He so whosoever call upon the name of the Lord Jesus shall be saved. John says, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. John, amen, said, Behold the Lamb of God which come to take away the sins of the world. I want you to know that Jesus came to take away your sins and mine. Amen. He died on the cross. Amen. And rose the third day according to the scripture. Whosoever call on the name of the Lord Jesus shall be saved. He said, I stand at the door and knock. Knock at the door of your heart. Say, let me in. And I'll come and sup with you and you with me. I want you to know we're living in the last days. Amen. They're already starting over war in Israel. Hello? China's shooting missiles. Amen. Going across the, the ocean. Didn't you hear me say earlier that the earth would destroy, be destroyed with a fervent heat? And that everything would melt because of the fire. Amen. I want to tell you today that Jesus is coming. We live like we won't die. But I'm here to tell you that all, all shall die and stand before a holy God in that day and have to give an account for the deeds done in this body. Oh, y'all hear me? If you don't receive Jesus as your Savior, in that day you'll have to answer for your sins. I want you to know all have sinned and come show the glory of God. There's none righteous, no, not one. For all of us have sinned. Which were they? Everyone shall be judged according to their work. This revelation. And death and hell shall be cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. And whosoever was not found written in the land of life was cast into the lake of fire that burned with brimstone. Amen. Revelation 20 says, And I saw the great white throne and him that sat upon it from whose face the earth and the heavens fled away and there was no place found for them. And I saw the dead, both small and great, stand before God and the books were open. And another book was open, which is called the book of life. If your name is not written in the Lamb's Book of Life, in that day he'll say, depart from me, I never knew you. Many of us say, Lord, Lord. He said, I don't know you. Amen. You've got to receive Jesus as your Savior. You've got to receive him, what he done on the cross 2,000 years ago. He hung there. He was hung up for our hang-ups. You can't you can't make it before God. You can't stand before God in your sinful ways. We can't stand before holy God in our mess. I'm here to tell you today. He said, I wrote the book of life and the judge and the dead were judged out of those things that were written therein. My Lord, I don't know about you, but I've done some things, amen, but I thank God that it's covered under the blood. <laughs> Say amen, somebody. Hallelujah. It's covered under the blood. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Thank be to God. Matthew, the 24th chapter, and the 36th verse says, And in that day, at an hour, no man knoweth, not the angels in heaven, but my Father only. But as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be when the Son of Man shall come. As it was, for in the days of Noah, before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage. Until the day that Noah entered into the ark, 
And the flood came and took them all away. Speaking of marriage, the Bible said marriage is between a man and a woman. Come on, say it. Sodom and Gomorrah were destroyed for the sins of, for those sins. Lesbianism, homosexualism, uh, bestiality, all these things don't bring glory to God. The Bible said a man shall leave his father and mother and shall cleave unto his wife. Right, right. Not her wife, not his husband. The, the government changed the law, but God didn't. And all those people that in the uh, Senate and, and, and on the judges that changed God's law. The lady, Nick Ken, uh, Ginsburg, already she has met her maker. Already she has to, has to account for this ungodly behavior. Let me tell you something. Abraham interceded for God for, for Sodom and Gomorrah. He prayed and asked God if he could find 50 people. Would he spare the city? Well, we knowing how we are. <laughs> he said, well, you know what? I think I'm going to change that. Lord, how about 45? Then he said, how about 40, God? How about 35? How about 30, God? Listen, got him all the way down to 10. said, if God will find 10, will you spare the city? And he said he would. But 10 people, 10, wouldn't give up that sin. The Bible said marriage is honorable and the bed is undefiled. But homeowners and adulterers, God said, I will judge you. Let me tell you something. You need to call on the name of Jesus. His blood cleanses us from all sin. Jesus' blood has healed you. It's, it delivers you. It sets you free. You don't want to die without Jesus on your side. Many people have left here. They go into the supermarket. They go and shopping. And I want you to know somebody, some neck with a gun, said, I'm going to take lives today. If those people had known that that would be their last day on earth, they would have done something different. We act like we're never going to die. I'm okay. That's what they tell me all the time. When you say to them, are you ready to meet the Lord? They say, I'm all right. I'm good. You ain't ready. And then when you see the Lord, you're in panic, you're in fear. Because you got to stand before him in all of your sins. You don't want to meet God in your sins. You want to meet God and Jesus paid it already. Jesus, amen, the blood of God, his son, amen, cleansed us from all sin today. I want you to know, glory to God. God, cover me in your blood. Wash me. Hallelujah. Wash me in your blood. And I'll be all right. I'll be ready to meet you when you call my name. But if you go to full God in your sins, he said, in hell, you're going to lift your eyes. Hello, somebody. Hell is real. Heaven is real. Hell is real. Now you decide today. The Bible said, choose you this day whom you're going to serve. You serve the Lord. Hallelujah. In heaven, you'll be all right. If you serve the devil in hell, you're going to live out. The Bible said there, where the worm dies not. Amen. <laughs> where the worm dies not. Where the fire is not quenched. Where there be weeping and gnashing of teeth. My Lord, you don't want to be in that position. And it, I, it's not a few minute thing. It's forever. You put your hand on the stove and you say, oh, well, you know, oh man, that hurt. <laughs> but if you burn in hell, it's forever. Forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. There is a life after this one. There is a life after this one. The Bible said it's appointed unto man to die. But after death come the judgment. Are you ready? Are you ready to meet the Lord at his coming? Are you saved, sanctified, Holy Ghost filled, blood washed? Five baptized. Five baptized. That's 
all you need. To receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior today. Please, man, please, sir, don't die without Jesus on your side. And they knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall the coming of the Son of Man shall be. Bible said there were two in the field. One was taken and the other left. Two women were grinding meal. One was taken and the other left. Watch, there, watch ye therefore, for you know not what hour the Lord shall come. You hear what I tell you? Say like the rappers say. You heard me? That's what they say. You heard me? I heard you. Amen. I, I, I heard me too. Don't die without Jesus. Make him your Lord and Savior. Put your name in the Lamb's Book of Life. Ask Jesus to save you. Matthews, I'm going to make it plain, praise the Lord, I'm going to make it plain. Amen. The 24th chapter. Amen. Watch ye therefore, for you know not what hour your Lord do come. But know this, if the good man of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched and had suffered his house and not suffered his house to be broken up. Therefore be ye ready for an hour when you think not. That's when the Lord is coming. Somebody repeat after me. The ABCs of salvation. Admit that you need salvation. Romans 3.10 says, as it is written, there is none righteous, no, not one. Romans 3.23 says, for all have said and come short of the glory of God. Believe that Jesus died for you. For God meant, commanded his love toward us, that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Confess. If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus. And shall believe in thy heart. That God has raised him from the dead. Thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believe unto righteousness. And with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Whosoever call upon the name of the Lord Jesus. Shall be saved. If you were to die right now or later on this evening, are you sure you will go to heaven? If not, all right. <laughs> Amen. But for those of you that are not shown, I want you to pray this prayer with me. Dear God, I want to be saved. Please forgive me for my sins and wrongdoing. I believe that Jesus died on the cross for my sins. And I now ask you, Jesus, to come into my life and to make and to be my Savior and Lord. I pray this prayer with sincerity, with my whole heart, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Now, if you prayed that prayer, praise be God. Praise God. Then the Bible said you were saved. Now, because you say you can't go back and do your thing. Huh? Bible said if any man be in Christ Jesus, he's a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things become new. You want a new beginning. You want a new beginning in Jesus. Give your life to him today. Say, Lord Jesus, save me. Come into my heart and save me, Lord. I'm going to give you this last scripture and I'm done. We always say, Johnny, Mary, Barbara, whoever died, we always say they had a good heart. 
<laughs> Let me tell you about the heart. The Bible said in Jeremiah 17, 9, the heart is desperately wicked above all things, deceitful and desperately wicked. Who can know it? In Matthew, Jesus told us what was in the heart, what comes out the heart. Out of the heart comes evil thoughts, murder, adultery, sexual immorality, theft, false testimony, slander. Oh man, there's so much in that heart. But Jesus came that we might be saved today. All you got to do is ask him to save me. Lord Jesus, save me. A sinner. And he'll do it. Call on the name of the Lord Jesus. Call on the name of the Lord. And he will save you. He will deliver you. He will set you free. If you desire prayer, that one that desire prayer, you got some issues, you got a court date, or, 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 or whatever, amen, whatever's bothering you. Come and give it to Jesus. He can fix it for you. He's a healer. If you, if the doctor told you that you got that, what's the name, that house in Virginia, put it together. Guess what? Jesus is a healer. He is a healer. He came to heal and to save that which was lost. Why don't you come to Jesus today? Give him your heart. Say, Lord, here am I. Because we don't know where the gunman is. We don't know. We don't know when they start shooting. Bullets, they say, bullets don't have no name on it. But when you get hit, it has your name on it. Hello? So I advise you today to receive Jesus as your Savior. Call on the name of the Lord Jesus and thou shalt be saved. Whoever call on him, he that come unto me, I will in no wise cast you out. Jesus is calling you today. He's calling you. He's knocking at the door of your heart saying, let me in. Today is the day of salvation. This might be your last day on planet earth. So you can't say, well, nobody told me, Lord, you'll hear my big mouth. you hear Pastor Pam's mouth. <laughs> Declaring the word of the Lord for you today to receive Jesus as your maker and as your savior. Please, man, please, sir, receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior today. For my tomorrow may be too late. You heard the word? Think about it. But don't think long. Say, you know what? I'm going to give my life to Jesus. That's what I'm going to do. And we'll receive it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I pray, amen, that God would save, heal, and deliver everyone that call upon his name. I don't care what you've done. There's no sin that God cannot heal. All you got to do is say, Lord Jesus, save me a sinner. And he'll do it. He saved me. <laughs> if he can save me, he can save anybody. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Think about it. Today is the day of salvation. Call upon the name of the Lord.